All right, hey guys, it's Ash or Ashton, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get stretch res in Valorant. And this method that I'm going to be showing you today doesn't actually require anything to be downloaded, like custom resolution utility, Reva Tuner, or Win XP. So I think that it's completely safe. It won't get you banned, from my knowledge. Um, I've been using this for over like over a year since I like almost started playing Valorant. I think I used this in a month in after I started playing Valorant, but I haven't gotten banned since then. The only thing I could possibly get banned off is Raw XL, and even Raw XL is safe and is cleared by Riot Dev. But anyways, I'm babbling. Um, yeah, the only thing that you're going to need is Nvidia Control Panel and some fucking working fingers. Because if you don't have working fingers, then you're not going to be able to do this. But anyways, yeah, I'm not really sure how to do this on um, AMD drivers or control panels, but I'm sure you can follow along and see if there's a similar way. But yeah, let's hop right into it. So the first thing you're going to want to get into is obviously your control panel, which I find from my bottom right taskbar. Right click on Nvi that NVIDIA logo and then press NVIDIA control panel. And this is going to pop up. Now... We're going to create the custom resolution, which is actually going to be the one that we're going to use for in the game. So you won't have the, these custom resolutions off the, off the bat, but that's the reason that we're here. We're going to create one. And if you accidentally press one of these, don't worry because like the customize button will gray out, but all you want to do is just press cancel on bottom right and you're going to want to press customize. Now, if this is all grayed out, all you're going to want to do is press enable resolutions not exposed by the display and just press create custom resolution and you're going to want to change your horizontal pixels from 1920 to 1526 to 1024. So this is what it should look like 1526 by 1024 um, scan type progressive and your refresh rate is your refresh out of your monitor now you're gonna want to test this out now it's gonna pop up weird on the video and yes it does look a bit weird we're all good we're just gonna press yes here now this isn't actually going to be our stretched yet but now that our stretch res is actually created if it's unticked make sure it's ticked on the left side just so it shows up on this menu on the left now press ok and then next thing you're going to want to do is go to adjust size and position and you're going to want to go to select a scaling mode and you're going to want to press full screen here and make sure you do perform scaling on gpu and override the scaling mode set by games and programs you're going to want to hit apply and you should be good now we can actually move on to um, doing stuff in Valorant. So you're going to want to keep your control panel up. You're just going to want to minimize it and you're going to want to launch Valorant. All right. Now that we're in Valorant, we're going to want to go to the settings on the top right here. And oh, sorry about that blackout. We're going to go on the top right, press settings, and then we're going to head over to our video tab. From the video tab, you're going to want to go to full screen and make sure you select windowed and then make sure it's considered fill in the aspect ratio method there we go and next thing we're going to want to do is open up nvidia control panel we're going to want to go back to our change resolution screen we're going to go scroll up to our custom resolution we're going to select it and then we're going to hit apply Right, now it should scale up to your entire screen like this next thing you want to gonna do is minimize that you're gonna want to go to your valorant you want to click on it and you're gonna want to press alt enter which should change it back to 1920 by 1080 and then you're gonna want to press alt enter again here we go now you should have stretch res on valorant um, we'll just go on turn to the range to test it out. Now you see that there's black bars around the top and bottom. That's not actually going to show up in game. Don't worry about that. Alright, so just select an Asian. On our bots. And there we go. We have stretched res in valorant 
Now, if you can find a lower res in Valorant, uh, that that's considered uh, three by two. I know that three by twos, will, other three by twos will work. Then do let me know. I would I'd like to try them out. But yeah, this is the only custom res that I know that works of as of 2023. But if you know and know any more, just let me know. And yeah, that should be it. You don't have to, um, you know, do this before each mat, each game. You will have to do it before you do play like you do start your session though so say that you did launch valorant for the first time today and you're gonna you want to do this method and then just leave it and the way to revert this is you're just gonna want to close valorant then you want to go to your control panel select 1920 by 1080 or whatever your resolution is click yes and let me just rescale this. You should be good by now. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna enter some questions at the end here. To um you know possibly lessen the amount of comments that need help in the end. So yeah. I'll start that now. So one of the questions that um that I did think about that people might ask is will it increase input latency? In game from what i know no um uh, when i started using it i didn't experience any input delay um everything still felt connected everything still felt fine if you're a person that um breaks out over that then maybe um wouldn't recommend doing that um who is this for well this is for people who like came from csgo who just prefer stretched models just so it's easier for them to hit a target and i think it's also for people who are scared of getting banned from using win exp or something like custom resolution utility and i feel like this is a better method though because you don't have to mess around with all the different configs and custom resolution utility and having to change it back and having the risk of breaking your computer so yeah this is personally my favorite and most safest method of having stretch resin valorant does this actually have a impact on your FPS? Well, it can, yes, if you're uh, recording like me. I'm recording in 1080p and 144 FPS. Of course, the ring is going to be low, but it should stay consistent and possibly even give you more FPS in the end. One thing to note with the stretched res is that you will get um, less FOV, but just slightly. Um, it's not that much and it will definitely not impair your vision to the point where you can't see the sides as you would of native. You won't see as much as native, but you won't see tunnel vision. <laughs> you can you use 1440 by 1080? Yes, you can, but then you'll get black bars like I said at the start of the video. Um, it might be harder to see enemies um, from further away with this res the stretch res but that's only because the colors are meshing in with the background only if you're playing with like a fuck ton of saturation but if you're able to if you're willing to handle that and cope with that then yes it's not as bad as you think if you have a really good monitor and yeah the last thing that i have to know is that you will just have to do this each time you want to play valorant and stretch res uh, you won't have to do it each game. You won't have to worry about it bugging out and not working and just playing on um, this normal HUD again. Uh, if you do, if you do just experience the HUD stretching but not your actual character models or anything, just press Alt Enter again and it should be fine. But yeah, if you guys have any more questions, leave it down in the comment section below. Either that or join my Discord or DM me on Discord, Ashton without the O. And yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see if I want to make some some of these videos in the future. But yeah, see you guys.